Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Caleb Thornton and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at and just how in a few easy, simple steps, you guys are gonna be able to clean your cloth mouse pads. And if you wanna follow along with me while I'm cleaning mine, definitely feel free to do so. Just keep in mind, this is not RGB mouse pad friendly, so I don't want you ruining your electronics in those. So just make sure you only do this with cloth mouse pads. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Over time, especially depending on how you keep your space or how you use your mouse pad, like if you're eating on it, or if you're drinking over it, um, things are most likely gonna get on it, but especially where your arm's at, things like skin or dirt and dust, is gonna get settled down into it, um, which is not only gonna probably make it look bad, but it's also gonna create an inconsistent glide for something like a mouse going over the top of that, where that stuff is settled into the surface. One of the absolute great things with mouse pads, especially if you have one that you really like or have been using for a while, is that you're gonna be able to clean it with just things like household items or things that you'll already have um, nearby. Um, so not only will you not have to buy a new mouse pad, but you're not gonna have to buy any cleaning products because you should already have them. I will mention though that it's natural for a mouse pad just to wear out over time. Um, so don't expect cleaning it to make it um, like it would be out of the box um, brand new. Here's what you guys are gonna need to go ahead and get your mouse pad clean, as well as what I'll be using today. First off, you're gonna need soap, and for this I would just recommend using something like hand soap or dish soap. I don't personally like to use things like laundry soap, um, though I know people do, just because things like that sometimes will have additives in them, things like softeners, which I know that can um, end up ruining some of the texture in your mouse pad, so I'm just gonna try to avoid that um, as much as I can just using something like hand soap or dish soap. Second thing you're gonna to wanna to have is either a sponge or a rag. Um, today I'm gonna to personally be using a sponge, but if you don't have that readily available to you, or if you just don't have a clean one um, to use, I would just recommend using a rag. Just wanna make sure that it's not too abrasive um, cause you don't wanna cause any additional fraying or wear on the surface of your um, mouse pad. Third thing you're gonna need is either access to a bathtub itself to um, put the mouse pad in. But if you don't have that, it's gonna be fine. You can just use a bowl of water. Um, the one thing I'll mention is it's just easier to contain the mess in a bathtub because you don't have to worry about soapy water getting everywhere. So if you are gonna be using a bowl of water, just make sure you have a good spot where you can do it, um, where it's not gonna make a big mess everywhere. Finally, um, and this last one is optional, if you have something like a lint roller, a disinfectant wipe that you wanna use before you actually get it into the tub or um, with the water on it, just to pick up anything if you have like hair or bigger things on the surface of the mouse pad, it might be a good idea to do that first. Now that you know what you guys need, let's go ahead and get started with the cleaning process. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the bathtub where I can set this in, but just remember if you guys don't have access to that, you can still follow along with me um, using the same steps I'm using, but just with a bowl of water instead of a bathtub. All right, so I'm gonna be kind of talking over this now, guys. I'm gonna be watching it in the background, but I'm gonna be explaining what I'm doing um, as I go. First off, you're just gonna to wanna to fill up the bathtub with enough water to cover over the top of the mouse pad, so around four to five inches should be uh, more than good enough for that. Um, obviously, if you have a bowl, though, you're just gonna to wanna to fill that up um, and make sure that you have enough water in there um, and the sponge or rag that you're gonna be using um, just to get the mouse pad um, thoroughly wet. You just wanna let the mouse pad soak for a second to allow it to get some of that water in. Then you're gonna take your sponge, um, and this is without soap right now, and just scrub it for about a minute to loosen up and agitate um, anything that might be settled into the mouse pad itself. After that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead, get some soap on your sponge, um, make sure that you have a decent amount so that it can actually work um, decently well. Then you're gonna to wanna to take that soft side of the sponge. Remember, don't use anything abrasive on it so you don't have to worry about um, fraying that material on top. And you're just gonna to wanna to scrub it for a couple minutes really making sure that you scrub good um, any spots that are maybe stained or spots where you had things on top of it already and you know where they're at. Um, but just make sure you give it a good thorough washing. And after you feel that you've scrubbed it thoroughly, go ahead and rinse it out good, um, preferably with fresh water so you can get out, um, um, not have to worry about having any soapy residue left behind on the mouse pad surface. After you feel good about how you cleaned it, you can either take a towel or something that it can dry on. Make sure you lay it out on a flat surface and then take your mouse pad, lay it on top of that flat surface as well. And you can even just take that towel, wrap it up around it and kind of put some pressure down to soak up any of that extra water. Make sure you just dry it at room temperature, um, not outside so you don't have to worry about the sun damaging the material or the rubber on the bottom of your mouse pad, as well as not having dirt or allergens that are just in the air um, settling into your freshly cleaned and wet mouse pad. While it's drying though, make sure you take a, a few more looks over it just to see if you did miss any of those stains or spots that you maybe had something on it um, while it's still damp so that you're just able to take your sponge and do some touch-ups. So it really is just a matter of finding simple things that you already have in your home to clean your mouse pad. Um, just realize going into this that it's not always gonna come out with the perfect result or this it could even possibly cause damage to it if you're not doing it right. 
Um, if after you're done, you have some fraying or maybe your stitching's coming up a little bit, it might just be time to invest in a new mouse pad altogether. If you guys found the video informative or helpful, definitely hit that like button and do consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. And as always, if you have any questions about the process or if you need help, um, leave it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer it um, to the best of my ability at least. And I'll see you guys in the next one.